Hey guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 228. DJ's long awaited Mavic 3 is finally here and it's everything the leaks made us expect. The Mavic 3 has two cameras on board. The main camera is truly remarkable 20 megapixel 24 mm wide angle shooter in front of micro four thirds Hassel blade sensor. The other camera has a 12 megapixel sensor and a 162 mm equivalent focal length and the main camera supports 5.1K video recording at up to 50 frames per second. DCA 4K and regular 4K are up to 120 frames per second and 1080p up to 200 frames per second. The maximum bitrate is 200 Mbps in H.264 and 140 Mbps in H.265. You can snap both JPEG and DNG RAW with main camera. Mavic 3 supports a 5000 mAh battery that allows for up to 46 minutes of flight time in ideal condition. That's up from the 34 minutes on the Mavic 2 Pro and 30 minutes on the A2s. The battery is interchangeable and supports direct USB-C charging in the drone at up to 65 watts. The DJI Mavic 3 is 2099 euros for the drone and the controller or 2799 euros for the fly more combo which includes a total of three batteries, a charger and a carrying case and a set of ND filters. The DJI Mavic 3 Cine Premium combo adds a DJI RC Pro remote to the tune of 4799 euros. iPhone X with an USB Type C port is up for auction on eBay. The modified iPhone X developed by a student named Ken Pinel is listed on the e-commerce site with a title called as World's First USB C iPhone. The modified Apple device supports charging and data transfer. At the time of writing, the device has received 173 bits with the highest at $100,000 that is roughly around rupees 74 lakhs 47,000. This auction will close on November 11th. On YouTube, Ken Pinel also shared a video demonstrating the entire project from setting the concept to designing a custom internal pcb Reliance budget smartphone Geo Phone Next is all set to go on its first sale today. The Geo Phone Next is available across retail stores in India. With Geo Phone Next, Reliance aims to offer affordable smartphones with 4G connectivity to users across India. The government has notified rules enabling the Unique Identification Authority of India to appoint educating officers to act against violators of the Aadhaar Act and impose penalties to the tune of rupees 1 crore nearly 2 years after the legislation was passed. Government notify the Uday Rules 2021 on November 2nd under which the Uday may initiate a complaint against an entity in the Aadhaar ecosystem for failure to comply with the act or this Uday's direction and furnish information required by the Uday. Paytm India's digital payment pioneer would consider Bitcoin offering if nation's authorities remove regulatory uncertainty surrounding the adoption of cryptocurrencies. The rules around these assets remain a gray area. Bitcoin is still in a regulatory gray area if not a regulatory ban in India. Samsung likes to kick things off in late January early February with its latest Galaxy S series phone and seeing how the S22 lineup is already in mass production. The most recent renders from last month seems to be on point as the device features a curved display up front with curved corners and the water drop camera design on the rear. The back features a matte coating but it remains to be seen if this will be the case with the retail units. Another highly leaked feature built in S Pen is also here which makes an S22 Ultra a true galaxy note successor Google Pixel Fold foldable phones to debut in 2022. The cameras on the foldables are set to be downgraded from the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Pixel Fold is expected to have a 12 megapixel Sony IMX386 sensor and comes with an ultra wide angle lens and two 8 megapixel lenses. Google said that it will open up alternative in-app payments in South Korea. This move is not one that Google preferred to make, but South Korea puts its foot down and forces the company to adhere a new law. South Korean might be the first country to ask this of Google, but other countries might follow suit. Service fees for distributing applications via Android and Google Play will continue to be based on digital sales on the platform. Google explained in a blog post, "We recognize however that developers will incur cost to support their billing system so when a user select alternative billing we will reduce the developer service fees by 4% iOS 15 brings an option to reposition the address bar on Safari browser to the bottom on iPhones. Now Samsung has started to roll out similar feature of its Samsung internet browser. There are other browsers that also comes with this functionality. 
Two new IQ phones are tipped to launch in China soon. While the details of the phone are not revealed, they could be the Neo 5s and IQ Neo 6 Software Edition. IQ Neo 5s is said to be a updated version of IQ Neo 5 Vitality Edition. MIUI 13 is confirmed to debut before the end of this year. The new custom screen is said to bring revamped UI, battery optimization, and a lot of changes to improve user experience. MIUI 13 should be made available to a large chunk of Xiaomi and Redmi phones. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.